हेलो व्यूअर्स एंड वेलकम टू द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन सेमी कंडक्टर फिजिक्स होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग फाइन हियर इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी इंटेंड टू स्टडी अ मेटल सेमी कंडक्टर जंक्शन एंड इट्स प्रॉपर्टीज वी ऑल हैव हेयर अबाउट पी एन जंक्शन वेर इन द जंक्शन इज फाउंड बिटवीन टू सेमी कंडक्टर पीसेस नेमली पी एन एंड टाइप सेमी कंडक्टर ऑन आइदर साइड ऑफ द जंक्शन बिफोर डिस्कसिंग द बिहेवियर ऑफ अ मेटल सेमी कंडक्टर जंक्शन इट इज फर्स्ट नेसेसरी टू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ वर्क फंक्शन द वर्क फंक्शन ऑफ अ मेटल इज द एनर्जी रिक्वायर टू रिमूव एन इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्रॉम द लेवल ऑफ द केमिकल पोटेंशियल एंड गिव इट इनफ एनर्जी टू स्केप टू इन्फिनिटी एंड अराइव दियर विद जीरो एनर्जी दिस इज रिप्रजेंटेड बाई वैक्यूम लेवल The work function is denoted by a symbol phi. When a metal and a semiconductor are joined, two possible types of contacts can result. Depending on the combination of metal and the semiconductor used, the contacts may be rectifying, which only allows current to pass in one direction. Alternatively, it could be ohmic. in which case current can pass in either direction the first one is known as schottky junction and the other one ohmic junction now let's discuss them in detail when a metal and a semiconductor are brought into contact there are two types of junctions formed depending on the work function of the semiconductor and its relation with the metal when the work function of the metal is larger than that of the semiconductor the junction formed is known as schottky junction and when the work function of the metal is smaller than that of the semiconductor the junction is known as ohmic junction now let us consider a junction formed between a metal and a semiconductor as shown in this diagram here ef is the fermi level of the metal and efn is the fermi level of the semiconductor which is n type semiconductor the conduction band and valence band are also shown in this diagram ec represents the bottom of the conduction band whereas ev represents the top of the valence band clearly the fermi level of the semiconductor is higher than that of the metal it means its work function is smaller than that of the metal the diagram shows the state of affairs before the contact is formed when the metal semiconductor junction is formed the two fermi levels must line up at equilibrium here phi m is the energy required to remove an electron from the metal surface and phi n is the work function of n type semiconductor phi n is also written as phi s s stands for the semiconductor thus the work function of the semiconductor is smaller than that of the metal it means the electrons can move from semiconductor side to the metal side forming a contact potential another way to look at this is that there are electrons in the conduction band of the semiconductor which can move to empty energy states above the fermi level of the metal this leaves a positive charge on the conductor side and due to excess electrons a negative charge on the metal side as shown in the diagram on the left side so this leads to a contact potential dear viewers i have been putting my best efforts to create the videos for you though i may or may not be that good at animations and effects but one cannot rule out the amount of hard work i have been putting in it takes me several hours and sometimes a couple of days to complete the work so please like share and give comments wherever possible that will definitely motivate us for giving our best also please don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you very much when a contact is formed between two metals the charges reside on the surface this is due to the high electron density found in metals it is typically of the order of 10 to power 22 per cubic centimeter 
on the other hand when a contact is found between a metal and a semiconductor due to the low charge density on the semiconductor side it is typically of the order of 10 to power 17 per cubic centimeter the electrons are removed not only from the surface but also from a certain depth within the semiconductor so this leads to the formation of a depletion layer within the semiconductor as shown in the diagram when a Schottky junction is formed between a metal and a semiconductor the Fermi level line up and also a positive potential is formed on the semiconductor side because the depletion region extends within a certain depth in the semiconductor there is bending of energy bands on the semiconductor side the energy bands bend up in the direction of the electric field as you may be knowing field goes from positive charge to negative charge thus there is a certain region in the semiconductor denoted by w where the bands bend this is the depletion region or the space charge region there is a built-in potential in the Schottky junction represented by v naught, and from this figure 3 this is given by the difference in work function so e v naught is equal to phi m minus phi s the work function of the metal is a constant while the work function of the semiconductor depends on the dopant concentration since this affects the Fermi level. The contact potential then represents the barrier for the electrons to move from n-type semiconductor to the metal. Initially when the junction is formed electrons move to metal to create the depletion region. The contact potential thus formed prevents further movement of electrons to the metal. There is also a barrier for electrons to move from metal to semiconductor. This is called Schottky barrier and represented by phi b. From figure 3 the Schottky barrier phi b can be written as phi b is equal to phi m minus phi n plus ec minus efn which on further simplification gives phi v is equal to phi m minus chi n. Here chi n is the electron affinity of the n-type semiconductor. So this is an important relation. At equilibrium the motion of electrons from the semiconductor to metal is balanced by the contact potential so that there is no current. The Schottky junction can be biased by the application of an external potential. There are two types of bias. One is the forward bias whereas the other one is reverse bias. In forward bias Schottky junction the external potential is applied in such a way that it opposes the built-in potential. Under external bias the Fermi level no longer line up and are shifted with respect to one another and the magnitude of these shifts depends on the applied voltage. The current in a Schottky diode under forward bias is given by J is equal to J naught exponential E v upon kt minus 1. Here j is the current density for the applied potential of b, j naught is constant and depends on the short q barrier phi b for the system and the expression is j is naught is equal to a t square exponential minus phi b upon kt where a is Richardson's constant for thermionic emission. It, this equation shows that the current in the forward uh, bias exponentially increases with applied voltage. In case of reverse bias, the potential is applied in the same direction as the junction potential. Once again, the Fermi level no longer line up. In this case, a constant current flows through the junction in the reverse direction. From calculations, it can be shown that the current in the forward bias is many orders of magnitude higher than the current in the reverse bias. This is due to exponential dependence on potential. So a Schottky junction acts as a rectifier meaning it conducts in forward bias and a not in reverse bias. The IV characteristics of the junction is shown in this figure. Exponential increase is observed in the forward bias while there is a small current in the reverse bias. That's all in this video. In the next video we would be discussing the other junction that is the ohmic junction the link of which will be provided in the description box. Please do watch the video and send your comments. Also, do subscribe to our channel.
थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर योर टाइम एंड पेशेंस थैंक यू